Members who get a sturgeon today are once again urged to register them as soon as possible. Pauline is live in Nina with more. Morning, Pauline. Hey, good morning, guys. We're spending part of the morning here at the Paynes Point Registration Station. Check it out. Signs of a successful day one on the ground. Ugh. It's kind of bloody. <laughs> and I, <laughs> I know, I know. But we're here, we're spending the morning waiting for Sturgeon Spears to bring in their catch of the day. Nothing yet so far. Station's been open since 7.30, but we're having a recap on day one. We've got Ryan Koenigs here with the Wisconsin DNR. Good morning. Good morning. So let's just talk about it. You had another busy day one. Yeah, conditions weren't ideal for people to get out on the ice yesterday with the cold and the wind. There was actually some whiteout conditions out on the lake with the snow blowing, but still spears on Lake Winnebago were very successful. Uh, we had an opening day harvest of 467 fish from Lake Winnebago and then another 127 fish from the Upper River Lake. So yeah. all in all, it was a pretty successful day for a lot of spears. Yeah, and we have some video to show you, I believe, of yesterday's harvest. Um, you said earlier, above ha average. Yeah, since we went to the short and six-hour spearing day in 2002, We've actually had a high, above average harvest, harvest during that time on opening day yesterday. Um, however, it was down a little bit from last year when we had better spearing conditions and better water clarity. Yeah, very, very cold, obviously. How was it for people working to register the fish? Well, we put out a request hoping that people would bring in their yeah. fish as soon as possible after they had speared it so the fish would be uh, easier to work with. Uh, for the most part, I think spears tried their best to come in early, but we did have some fish that were uh, frozen. frozen or partially frozen that made them more d difficult to work with. Mm -hmm. So obviously when you're when they're registering when you're registering surgeon you're looking for certain things. What did you find yesterday? Well overall what one trend that we saw this year is the fish seem to be in a little bit poorer condition than they have been in the last five to ten years and what that means is the overall plumpness of the fish. We anticipated that was going to be the case this year. Mm -hmm. uh, one of the important forage items for sturgeon during the winter months are dead or dying gizzard shad. Mm -hmm. And we had a really down shad hatch this year. So we expected that food would be a little bit harder to come by for the fish. And in turn, they wouldn't be as, as plump as they have been in the past. Yeah, and we were talking earlier, the largest sturgeon speared was actually here yesterday, registered here. Yep, the largest fish yesterday was 127 pounds, and it was registered right here at Payne's Point. But that's not as big, you were just saying right now. Yeah, the, the largest fish on record that's being harvested was in 2010. That fish was 212 pounds. Mm -hmm. And actually, to break the top 10 on record of heaviest fish, you have to be about 171 pounds. Oh. So, so we know there's fish that have the length out there to, be, to break that state record. But with the down condition this year, these fish might be 20, 30 pounds or more underweight compared to what they could be okay. if we had a couple years of abundant shad. All right. Well, thank you so much for spending the morning with us. Hey, Spears out there, I want to see a 200-pound fish. So mm. if you want to bring it by, I'll be here all morning. So just bring it by. And also, too, send your pictures of the sturgeons you speared to our report it feature because we obviously everyone else at the station wants to see them, too. But we'll yeah. stay here. We're waiting for Spears. Come here and talk to me. I'll check in with you guys a little bit later. All right. Thanks, Pauline.